And that's where I, I think, again, looking at common frameworks, looking at common patterns, looking at LLM generated code that introduces, uh, you know, flaws onto itself is going to then end up being caught by LLMs because it's in the training data set and it has an understanding of where the problem is, even though it's reproduced it via maybe some vibe coding that your developers were doing uh, to get this code out the door, right? So it's, I get the feeling it's going to be a bit of like, um, I don't know, cat and cat or mouse and mouse in the sense of like LLM generates code that has problems. LLM uh, tool identifies problems on generated code and then human has to come in and fix it. And uh, I saw some meme earlier today uh, that I thought was very relevant, which is like, you know. 2025 is going to be the year of a lot of vibe coding. 2026 is like companies are going to realize they have all these problems. And 2027 is going to be when security professionals and software developers have to come in and like manually by hand fix all the problems that were introduced by the 2025 vibe coding uh, wave. 